Look how nice that, ooh, dude, I seen it. You know, if you move, say for example, you buy a car with a Huawei system, you sell it and you buy a new car with a Fitech. All you have to do is switch over the hardware, you keep the same dash, you know, saves you a lot of money, so. That's all I'm All right, guys, you're in luck. Send it race media in the shop, but we're not in our shop today. We're in Michael's shop with one gauge. Yeah. And obviously, if you come down here, you have to look at the wagon 240, small block Ford swapped. Uh, so this is his test mule, um, but he has the 10 inch dash in here. The Syndic guys are getting the seven inch dash for the truck. So all that stuff will be after this, but I wanted to show you guys how cool it looks in this wagon. Absolutely, yeah. So like you said, this wagon's uh, 302 swapped. Ooh. Did that last year, you know, as part of a kind of a COVID thing, right? But uh, what's your fuel management? It's carved right now. Okay. Yeah, so I'm planning on He's a dinosaur. Holly. Yeah. Look at that. Man, so, it's yeah. so nice. You know, the great thing is, let me turn off the fuel pump. You know, you've got access to everything. So I've got a few of the basic gauges. I don't have all my stuff hooked up. This is the screen I usually use. So that's probably like a, a real Volvo dash there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what something like, like that. Yeah, yeah. the nice retro, yeah. Yep. So I've got AFR. I've got, you know, an, uh, um, an O2 sensor plugged in, um, you know, into one of the banks. And uh, keep an eye on my fuel pressure, my oil pressure, my fuel level works. So that's nice. Um, and then I can keep an eye on temps and stuff like that. And, you know, that's the, cool. the usual stuff. Yeah. Yep. Now, one thing then, we'll talk about this in the video, but uh, or he'll talk about it in the video. Yep. The number of sensors you can put in this is insanity. It's basically like, unlimited. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, for everybody that thinks you need more gauges and more things to keep <laughs> up with, you can definitely do that. Um, there's tons of different screens yeah. there. I think when we were talking at uh, NWA, you were saying like mm -hmm. you... You could program up to 32 different screens or something crazy. It's really unlimited there too. I mean, Jeez. right now I've got about 15 that are loaded as kind of base screens. I'm always adding more like I've got one that I'm finishing up right now that's kind of a Volvo. Like they had uh, their R Sport dash that's super popular with the Volvo nice. guys. And so I've imitated that dash and, you know, I'll load that screen on there for Volvo. That is too but, cool. And yeah. you can be like seven inch screen. I mean, under six or seven hundred bucks, yep. right? Yep. 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 And that comes, that's that's everything. That's not just, the, I mean, that's like the box, the wiring to do all that right. stuff. And then you purchase your sensors yep. and go on from there. Now, uh, you guys will see in just a second, too, uh, he has like, you work with some of the FI Tech stuff. Yep. You work with uh, the Holly Sniper yep. uh, throttle body setups to mm -hmm. where it just plugs right in. Right. So exactly. a lot of the sensors they're seeing, you can also exactly. see within the thing, too. So, yep. Uh, I'll link all the stuff down below. So definitely reach out with any questions. I, I think this is really, I know Steven's going to use it on the MG and then I, I know I'm going to do the seven inch dash on the old truck. So, all right, yeah. we'll, uh, we'll let him get back to doing real work and I'll get out of his way. And kind of an inside view of this unit right here. Um, usually when it arrives, it's going to look something like this. The idea is, um, you know, I, I do things a little bit differently. So I really strongly believe in kind of the right to repair that everybody should be able to, you know, customize things and do what they want. You also have huge control over kind of what it does. So, you know, you've got all these banks so that you can, uh, you can add sensors. So if you change vehicles, you know, if you want to add a new sensor, say you add a turbo and you want to measure your boost pressure, or your exhaust temperature, stuff like that. All of that's really easy to add on here. Sweet. Yeah. So it's the idea is that it can kind of grow with you. Yeah. And then you're also not locked in. So say, you know, if you bought a dash that was specific to a manufacturer, then you're stuck with that. You always have to use that manufacturer's ECU. Right. But for this, you know, I'm the goal is to make it pretty universal. It's not always going to hit every single manufacturer. Right. But um, you know, if you move, say for example, you buy a car with a Holly system, you sell it, you buy a new car with a Fitech. All you have to do is switch over the hardware, you keep the same dash, you know, saves you a lot of money. So, so hang on, are, are you saying you can do custom backgrounds? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, well, hang on, the there it goes. Oh, what? Yeah. How That's... cool is that? All right guys, full one gauge setup here, uh, low dollar motorsport sensors and the wiring that goes with them. The uh, wiring here that drops into the Holly setup 
Uh, so you get the one gauge, which is this, the dash, and then you also get the sensors uh, that Holly is reading off of and the GPS unit and the box that controls all of that. It's all going in here. Somewhere. Yep. We'll make it fit. Yeah. Thinking right over there looks like a really good spot. I think you're probably right. Yeah. Um, this is the ketchup truck from Send It Race Media. Oh, yeah. All right. Factory dash, factory gauge cluster, all that kind of stuff. We'll show you what it looks like at the end. We're going to take and we're going to mount the box right here on the side. Send it. So Kurt's drilling the hole here in the in the de uh, firewall to run the wiring through for the for the one gauge for the dash on the inside and the GPS unit and things like that. Super easy. He's gonna pick up a grommet for that later. Um, just because I didn't show everybody on here while I go, I'll uh, lift up the bracket there, drill the holes. I'm just gonna self tapper it right here on the on the firewall so it's nice and easy install and because uh, the main thing is getting the dash in there it is mounted all right so we'll start feeding the wiring back through to him and uh then we'll show you the inside when that's all done Look how nice that looks, dude. Oh, I can't wait to see it with everything on it. Look how nice that Ooh, dude. I seen it. You seen it? Oh, yeah. Man, that's freaking cool. All yeah. right, guys. We're going to show you how to send it. Three, two, one. Hello. Yay! Send it. That's awesome. And then, uh, how did you, oh, yeah. Yeah, run through a couple of them. I can't uh, remember yeah, how. Corners. Dude, look at that. That's cool, man. That's pretty cool. See, it's already running on a timer. Oh, and it'd be without the timer. Dude. Tag. Pressure. Oh, yeah, tag. Mile power in the middle. I like that. Map, KP, or yeah, the KPA. Um, the fuel, water tent. See, it's already picking up some of it. I guess I could start it. Got a little boo-boo from something. Ouchie. guys i want to say thanks for watching all the way to the end uh, we certainly appreciate you doing that uh low dollar motorsports send it race media follow those guys definitely on youtube and facebook you guys post on facebook all the time all the time so definitely find them there uh instagram instagram we do got the gram um if yep. you like memes hit up the instagram yes 
fire memes oh, yeah, on Instagram. Best. So, uh, obviously, follow us on all those places, too. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely do that. Uh, we post on YouTube Tuesdays and Fridays at 7. We go live on Fridays at 6. We post every day on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Oh, yeah. That's a mouthful. All right. Send it. See you guys. It's Kurt Killian here again with Michael Narks from Narks Elliptic Customs. Guys, just, you know, anything, guys. Do they have bungholes? They do. They have the weld on AN bungs. <laughs>